Adam Schefter just tweeted that Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel told reporters that QB Tua Tagovailoa did in fact suffer a concussion Sunday and Teddy Bridgewater is in line to start Sunday at New England. Now, Chris, how concerned are very, you about Tua with the big very. picture from a health perspective because that's what's most important? Absolutely. He had the one against Buffalo where he was staggered. Then he had yeah. the one against Cincinnati. Now he has here. You have to be very worried about him long term. I don't even remember the play. They had to go back and look at it when he hit his head there on uh, Christmas Day. Yes, I am very concerned by that. And of course now that hurts. To, I mean, I hate to look at it this way because this is more health oriented. But you know, Bridgewater against Belichick in a game that Miami needs to have, that's gonna, that hurts them a lot there on Sunday a afternoon. Lot. Yeah, I actually got the Patriots winning that ball game because we look at the history of this season when Tua has been out. Yep. Right? The, the they Dolphins, struggled. Yep. They, they struggled. struggled. They're on two in those games and a, a Bill Belichick defense, and I think the Los Angeles Chargers gave us a blueprint, right, mm -hmm. what to do against the Miami Dolphins offense. You think Bill Belichick is not going to look at that tape and say, you know what, we need to force them to throw the football down the football field in New England, in the cold, in the wind, and take away the middle of the field. That's one of the things that Bill Belichick is going to do, especially how they've lost the last two games. You have redemption. You got CPR. <laughs> I'm certified. <laughs> you have CPR, so now you have a chance to, you know, overcome those wrongs of Ramondre Stevenson fumbling inside their 10-yard line to go beat the Cincinnati Bengals and that last play of the game in which, yes, I put it on coaches as well as players, that you're calling a draw at the end of the game, knowing that you can't score a touchdown there instead of taking a knee and going in overtime. They have a chance to right these wrongs this week. Uh, they have a chance, but they're not going to be able to get it done because Bridgewater is a viable backup, right? You have a veteran in that situation coming in for Tua, and you're talking about a vet when he did come in in relief of Tua against the Bengals. He was pretty good, 14 of 23. 183 yards and a touchdown, right? Then he was supposed to start against the New York Jets, which he started that game, gets immediately knocked out. They have to go to Skylar Thompson. Then they end up going back to Bridgewater the next week against the Vikings. They lose that game. But again, he was coming off of his own protocol because mm -hmm. the independent person had evaluated Bridgewater and decided from a hit in the game against the Jets that he needed to go out. So it's been a lot of back and forth during the time that we did see Bridgewater trying to start for the Miami Dolphins in relief of Tua. Yes, we haven't seen anybody but Tua win under center for this Dolphins team. The difference is, though, in the last couple months since Bridgewater was tasked with trying to do that is the running game has come together, thanks in large part mm -hmm. also from pickups like Jeff Wilson. The protection has come together. This is a better Dolphins team, presumably, than it See, was I, when I Tua got knocked out against the Bengals. And again, Bridgewater is a vet. He should be able to get, to, get it done against a Patriots team that, frankly, I, I don't think, I think they run. Trash. I don't think they run the football effect, effectively enough. I think they're one-dimensional. I and agree that, with and, you. And that, they're going to have to rely on the running game more. And McDaniel Please, for the love of goodness, to. run the ball with Teddy. Run the ball. And if we this game was in Patriots Miami, but that I would give defense. I would give Miami the edge. But the fact that it's in Foxborough in the cold weather, mm. and then I know Bill Belichick is going to force them to throw. Listen, the low. I we got rid of the cold weather uh, conversation uh, 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 when, the, when the Dolphins uh, attested a, the Bills. It's a different also quarterback. Also, not going to be that cold this weekend. A different quarterback is the quarter is a backup quarterback of the Miami here, Dolphins here, worse here, than the starting here's quarterback what I'm trying of the to New England to Patriots? Because I'm not even sure. With your Bill Belichick defense, right, and like the Los Angeles Chargers, they took away the middle of the football field and forced everything to be thrown outside. When you have wide receivers that are 5'8 and 5'9, that's a low percentage throw. That's a low percentage throw versus you throwing over the middle of the football field. You know, that's why a lot of times when you have like a Jamar Chase who is a big body guy or you have a 6'3, 6'4 Devontae Adams that can go up over defenders, that's different versus having a 5'8, 5'9 receiver running down the middle of the field because if it's not a foot race and, they, and if they're not behind defenders or you're playing zone coverage, you can negate a lot of what they do. There's, a, there's this idea out there that everyone's figured out Mike McDaniel's offense coming off, off of that Chargers game. I understand the win-loss column might reflect that, but don't forget this is an offense that put up 20 points in the first half against Green Bay. This is an offense that tested the Buffalo Bills, who I would argue is the best team in the entire conference. Watch I'm the just, Jets. I just don't think they're running the football effectively enough. They're one-dimensional. No. Watch the Jets. That's who I got. Watch the Jets. I got Jets, Jets were dead last Thursday night, and they lost to Jacksonville. Yep. Look with the Jets. They've had every break known to man. Miami yeah. loses. Pitts, uh, the Raiders lost. New England lost. Yeah. They've had the whole world lose, and now they got two out. And if the Jets yeah. beat Seattle, I mean, with Bridgewater there in Week 18, watch the Jets. Mike White better than Bridgewater. The Jets. Oh, Mike White's played well. That's going to be that's well. a whole other can I of like worms. Mike. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.